Hello everyone, Pahamar here with episode 10 of Let's Mod Reboot. In today's episode, we are going to do things a little different thing, differently than we had planned in previous episodes. Uh, today we were going to be covering, covering recipes, um, but I've realized now that I want to cover something before we get into recipes. Uh, so today, instead, we will be going over just some housekeeping uh, items, and I'll be showing you creative tabs. Uh, so first off, um, one of the things I'd like to note is that uh, in our build Gradle, due to some changes in Forge Gradle, remember under the Minecraft section here, we had uh, an assets directory parameter that is no longer necessary. Uh, a recent change to Forge Gradle, and I'll show you how you can actually catch the, how you can get the latest version of Forge Gradle um, has rendered that line obsolete. And remember me telling you about the things you need to add to your run configuration to make it work with sounds and everything? You'll notice here I have no program arguments. And you may have caught that I am using a new main class to start Minecraft instead of using what was uh, the launch class before. Now we are using Gradle Start. Um, uh, they made some changes to Forge Gradle so that uh, people wouldn't have to set those specialized parameters. It would automatically detect them and set them for you. So uh, I'm going to show you first how you can make sure you get the latest version of Forge Gradle. So what you want to do is you want to run Gradle W clean refresh dependencies. So what this will do is this will clean up uh, everything it's uh, decompiled for you so far. And the refresh dependencies uh, will download the latest version of Forge Gradle uh, for the version that you currently have listed here. So here it's going to download the latest 1.2 uh, download. So here you can see it here. It has pulled down a new version. So this will run a moment. Now we need to run Gradle W setup decomp workspace just like before. This will also run a moment. And finally, we will rerun the Gradle task for our development environment. Now that that's done, I, in my case, IntelliJ will notice that project files have changed, so I will reload the project. And we will notice if we go to the run configuration that uh, now you should see that you have the similar you have similar to what I have on my screen here Gradle start and no program arguments so that is how you can make sure that you are using the latest version of Forge Gradle uh, another thing I'd like to note uh, you may have caught it here I am now using Forge version 1179 which is of the time of this recording is the most up-to-date latest version of Forge Something else I'd like to co uh, cover, uh, I've seen this a lot in the comments, I've seen a lot of people providing support for this, so I thought I'd just show this in a video. If in IntelliJ it gives you an error saying that it can't find the Java SDK or it's not set for the project, you can fix that by going to File, Project Structure, and under Project SDK, this is where you can specify what version of Java to use. Uh, for you, uh, if you're having this problem, you may notice no SDK, here I already have this pre-configured, so it detects it. If yours has no SDK and there's no version, just select New and add the new JDK. Then hit OK when you're done. That'll fix uh, the errors for you if you are having a no project SDK defined error. So now that that is all uh, taken care of, today we are going to get into creative tabs. Uh, and I should explain why I've decided to defer the recipes lesson. Uh, I wanted to show you how to do um, both shaped and shapeless recipes, and I wanted to also introduce you to um, using OR dictionary recipes. And to do that, I would need to introduce you to the OR dictionary. And to do that, I would really need to, ca uh, to cover in a little bit more detail the concept of item stacks, because item stacks become very important when you're dealing with recipes. So uh, next episode, episode 11, instead of doing creative tabs, which we're doing today, we will cover item stacks uh, then we'll cover the OR dictionary, and then we'll cover recipes. So they're v three very, very important topics. Um, these are core things to Minecraft. 
uh, and modding with Forge. Uh, so I feel like I should give you a proper understanding of those concepts before we dive into recipes. So today we'll do the lighter topic. We'll do creative tabs. So you may have noticed um, in earlier episodes when I try and show you, let's load up Minecraft here, when I tried to show you the items that we created and the block that we created, that I had to use the give command to give to me. And that's because when in the creative inventory, I uh, did not have a tab for me to find the item. Uh, and so Minecraft will load up here and I'll just visually show you what I just described to you. And the reason for that is because when we declared the item, we didn't tell it a creative tab to use. So let's just rebuild this. So you'll see, if we were to look in all of these, and I think if we were to search this, yeah, there's no maple leaf. That sucks. Maple leaves are awesome. And that's because we don't have it in a creative tab. So how do we fix that? Well, we can add it to an existing creative tab, or we can create our own. And I'm a fan of creating our own. So let's get started with doing that. I'm going to add a new package called creative tab. And inside of that, I'm going to create a new class. I'm going to call it uh, creative tab, let's mod reboot. And let's actually show you what some of these other creative tabs are. So if I were to do this, okay. So once again, if you're not sure of how to do certain things, and you know uh, vanilla Minecraft has that, have a look at vanilla Minecraft. So I happen to know in the item class they have a method in here called register items, and we kind of saw this last time, um, where it adds all the different things into Minecraft. So here's how it adds a gold ingot. And you'll notice here, it has a method in here. It's setting the creative tab for gold ingot, and it's setting it to the materials tab. And if we were to use the, uh, if we were to look at the definition, so go to declaration, which is also control B, you can actually see this is how it defines a creative tab for the materials one. A creative tab uh, has two methods that we care about. There is one that defines what the icon looks like. Uh, so if you're familiar with the creative inventory, all the different tabs have a different picture to denote the tab, as well as the name for it. So what we will do here is we will create ourselves a public static final creative tabs. This is the, um, uh, the Minecraft class here, creative tabs. And we will call it, let's mod reboot tab. I will import the class, and because it's an ob object I'm instantiating, I need to say it is a new Creative Tabs. Now, this is going to... Okay, so what happened here? We got an error here saying it's looking for a parameter, and we get this new method here that we have to override. So let's look at why we have an error here. So creative tabs, when you create one, it expects, let's look at the structure here. This is the constructor for a new creative tab. It takes a label and it will generate a new ID. So it'll be the next one in the list. And then it uses that label. And apparently there's a spelling error in MCP. What you want to do here is the label they're talking about is really your mod ID. So set that. Now what's this method get tab icon item? Well, all you need to do is return an item and that item will become your tabs icon. So in this case, we will return mod items maple leaf. Now the other method that you are going to want to uh, potentially uh, implement here, you don't have to do this, is public string get translated tab label. This is the method that returns um, what the name of the tab is. So for this, I'm just going to return let's mod reboot. 
it's just a string. So now we've defined ourselves a creative tab. All we need to do here in our item is say this dot set creative tab creative tab well, let's mod reboot. There you go. And the method is the same for a block. So let's test it. Now we'll load up Minecraft. And when we load up the creative inventory, now we will see the uh, we have a new tab. Before we didn't have two pages, we just had one. Now we have two pages, there's a new tab. If you mouse over, it says, Let's mod reboot. The icon is our maple leaf. If we were to click on it, we have two things in here. We have the block, the Canadian flag of awesomeness, and we have the maple leaf of awesomeness. So, and you can deal with this stuff just like you would any other item and block in creative inventory. Um, this is a creative inventory only thing. However, it's very helpful in terms of um, when a player is in creative mode uh, or when you're testing and whatnot to be able to have a page of all your items and whatnot on it. You are by no means limited to only one. Uh, you could have multiple different instances of this. Um, so for example, if you were to have a mod that had several different uh, key components to it, um, I, I really can't think of an example. Um, I, well, actually, I can I can think of existing examples. So, for example, Forestry has multiple creative tabs, I believe. So they have one for bees and they have one for butterflies. Mistcraft has two tabs as well. Um, Tinker's Construct has multiple tabs because there's multiple things to Tinker's Construct. It helps kind of logically break down um, where things are organized. So really, guys, this is all it is to add a creative tab to uh, your mod and then to set the creative tab for your blocks and your items. Uh, what I normally do, and uh, here, I'll show you this. So what I normally do is instead of putting it on each individual item, because we have those generic item and block classes, so in this case I'll put it on this one, I actually set it on the generic block and the generic item class. And the reason for that is, is because every single uh, object that extends this will automatically be set to that tab. So uh, if I were to now extend this class and make another item and say I add nine more items, I know that it's automatically going to be set to my mods creative tab. Same as for blocks. So that is honestly it for this episode shorter than I had originally anticipated. Uh, however, like I said, um, there is some very important core concepts to get around to before we really truly start showing you recipes. Um, so next episode, I believe we will cover item stacks. Uh, so that'd be episode 11. Episode 12, we will cover the or dictionary, and that might not be a terribly large episode. And then the episode after that, we will cover recipes. So this is Pahamar, signing off for episode 10. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, or once again, you have any problems with your mods or whatnot, please put it in the comments or uh, try and get a hold of me on Twitter or visit me in IRC. Um, there's tons of helpful people around who'd be willing to uh, give a look and maybe sanity check what's working and what's not. Uh, and until next time, take it easy.